So, so eager to, to listen from Srila Narottam Das Thakur's realizations. And uh, this Prema Bhakti Chandrika is a very, very nice meditation how to enter into Prema Bhakti. That's why it's called Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And today I chose uh, verse 56. It is about this very interesting subject, how to understand the spiritual body, the Siddha Deha, and how it is developed and how we can meditate so that we can uh, have some realizations, some feelings for this process. So, Srila Naratam Das Thakur is saying, Sadane ye dhamma chai, Siddha dehe taha pai, Paka paka matra se vichar. Apake sadana riti, Paki le se prema bhakti, Bakati lakshana. Tatvasa. And the translation by Shla Ananta Das Babaji Maharaj is the treasure I desire as a practitioner, I will get when I attain my spiritual body. It's just a question of being ripe or unripe. That is the essential truth about devotional principles. So it is very, very beautiful that we are here encouraged. It is only a matter between ripe, being ripe, and being unripe. Like a mango, Baba is giving also this example, mango is green when it's uh, unripe, any fruit when it's unripe, it's hard, and it's not so yellow or red, it's more green, the green horn. And then when it gets ripe, it starts smelling, it becomes, becomes soft, fragrant, and also very nice to look at. And a commentary by Ananta Das Babaji. In the previous verses, Srila Thakur Mahashoi explains how sadhana and siddhi are qualitatively identical. And in this verse, he uses an analogy to ascertain this more firmly, more firmly. Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti, and Prema Bhakti are sequential. They come in a sequence. They are follow-ups. They are qualitatively identical stages of each other. So once Gurdi was also sending me a verse that they were discussing in Munge Mandir for meditation and reading. It was Vilakush Mandrali verse 66, I think. Yeah, 65. And this is about the practice, the stage of practice development.
means we remember things that are related to the body or to our Radha, Radha, let's just wait a minute. Looks like Suniti did it fell out again.
जय हो सुनीति दीदी जय हो थैंक यू सॉरी सॉरी फॉर इंटरप्टिंग माया सो स्ट्रॉन्ग इन दिस खाली युगा okay so i do a little bit recap the verse is about how we can enter from the right unripe stage of meditation and feeling ourselves as the mantri that gurudev has revealed to us and coming into that and flowing with that 24/7 and developing the the real uh, abhiman the real feelings and the real moods of that so first of all it will be mixed with bodily consciousness that is for sure that is the first stage that we uh, feel as the sadaka deha but we aspire to be the dasi that we have now to meditate on and we would like to feel like a dasi and we would like to you know just enter into this consciousness of a radha dasi we remember things that are related to the body and we have to um, always uh, uh, try to check ourselves to come into our style of who i am and it's very interesting how the devotees are talking about this we are reading a verse uh, 56 every morning i get up and i look into the mirror and i tell myself I'm a Radha Dasi. I'm a Radha Dasi. Just uh, always trying to remember who I am, because especially in the morning, right? We are the body is a little bit slow, to be more tired. And, uh, we need to wake up. So at the first stages of trying to become, you know, into the mood of a. real does seem to have the feelings it will be mixed and then at the second stage that is what is revealed here also that baba says sabakti is condensed feeling and it comes also by the love of many devotees to pray for me that i also may be um, progressing in my bhakti it comes from the well wishing of others and also from my own strong desires and that is already a very high stage and uh, in vilap kushmangali purport of verse 65 baba says this is a liberated soul free from bodily consciousness sense my can you hear me again Yes now we can hear you again. 
Oh, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> so first it will be something far in the distance and maybe something that I most of the time will not remember so easily. But then by the mercy of all the devotees and by my own endeavor to really have such eagerness, it will come that we feel that we are ripening in the ability to remember and to live in these feelings. It comes by the combination of our own uh, uh, greed. And that is the thing here, what Baba is explaining very nicely. This um, Laulya Mai Bhakti, greedy devotion. And that is the, the most important uh, factor. Rudy says it a lot. And here also we have this confirmation that when the greedy devotion is moving into the desire to really have some greedy, then it becomes riper. And then we talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So we talk about uh, the greed, Gurudev, the greedy. <laughs> it needs to be greedy, greedy like when I'm hungry, then I need to eat. So I have to have this hunger of the heart, the hunger of mind in whatever circumstances. But my heart is greedy to connect with the service of Shrimati Radhika, of her devotion, of her dasis, and of the whole feeling of them. And when it becomes intense, this is also very interesting, then it's called Premati. We see here that the, the stages is like an intensification. Or like you often say, Rudy, condensed feelings. Yeah. It's like a burfi. Now, in the beginning, milk is liquid. It is very soft, and it can be easily, with a drop of lemon, it can be uh, sour. But then later, when the bhakti stages become more intensified, then it takes a form. Just like our spiritual form that we desire. And I like this because Baba says, insatiability is the nature of bhakta. So that means that one has like a greedy hunger one is in or exhaustible to be nourished in my feelings. It's like you are so hungry that you don't want to stop eating. No. Have you had this feeling? <laughs> I know this feeling, <laughs> this greedy feeling that the stomach says no, but the <laughs> It says more, more, more. This will be also in our desire to to attain our, our feelings, for our for our uh, uh, self feeling as a dasi. And I was meditating about this that when Baba is writing, the inexhaustible feelings is the nature of bhakti. And it's called insatiability. It's a it's a complicated word in English, but inexhaustible. I like it also. And he says that is the nature. So why? Who is Bhakti Devi? She is Ladini Shakti. She is a fragrance of the fragrance of the you know little part of Shrimati Radhika. And she, our das, our Shrimati Radhika is also inexhaustible in her desires. To have to make Mohan happy, to serve Mohan. So we say that Krishna is Atmaram, but actually, Shimati Radhika is so 
inexhaustible in her feelings and in her desires for him that even he becomes inexhaustible and greedy. And that is the thing that he really uh, is relishing so much that he cannot understand. Usually he is always self-satisfied, but she Radhika, she can make him uh, greedy. And she also, she likes to do the service. She can make him greedy, so what to talk, how to, uh, you know, that she can also help us to become more greedy. And we become greedy by association with those who are very hungry for Dasi Bhav, for the feelings of this Swarup Avesh. Even if I feel very unfortunate and fallen, Srila Rupa Goswami is also writing in one verse that where am I? I'm a wretched soul and I have no qualification. Still, this fire of hope, this hope in my heart, that is also what is the sign of one of the signs of Baba Bhakti that never give up hope and always try feeling of deep, deep thirst. Insatiability is the nature of bhakti. And the more advanced the sadhaka becomes in his devotional practice, he will feel rising in the heart. So, eagerness and anxiousness will rise in the heart. So, we, if we don't feel it myself, I will go to such a person. I will go to Vrindavan. I will, I will even call Gurudev and say, Gurudev, how are you? <laughs> and just hearing this sound vibration, this greediness, something will also stay with me. And I will be able to be more greedy to also fulfill my heart's uh, aspirations to become a Darcy. Not only on the paper, like good if you often say that you got the paper, but we don't put the paper in the Almira. We have to live in the paper. We have to try to live in the paper. Try to remember every day what is my real nature. I'm such and such Darcy, this is my name, and this is my dress, this is my color, this is my nature. And if I didn't get it yet, then I have to be greedy for it. Then I will jump to Vrindavan and I will say to Gurudev, Gurudev, please accept me as your servant. Please give me the higher, the higher levels of bhakti. Please initiate me in the secret mantras of Diksha. The wealth craved for in the stage of sadhaving service of Sri Radha Mohan in Vrindavan yearned by the Sadhya after Prem is attained. This is for sure. Siddha Dehe Tahapai. After giving initiation into Karma Bija in Karma Gayatri, Sri Guru Dev bestows Siddha Pranali so that the disciple gets knowledge of their distinct relationship with the deity and about the Sri Yugala Upasana the means to worship the divine pair. So here, here, yes, we have become very good subject. Maybe. If somebody likes to share, they can share. 
We need to have this beautiful initiation which will end this us deeply and As you know, it's a very nice subject you are telling me. Very nice subject, beautiful subject. This is the essence of everything in our spiritual life. I see one thing. Anyone who perfect, who fixed one pointed, the perfection will come. Perfection means Siddhi will come. Powerful. If you, somebody wants to be big, powerful, you have to practice one pointed in relationship. That is important to be a greedy for that. And I will request Gopinath also share something on this point. Gopinath is sitting here. Radhe, Radhe. Sir, Radhe Gopinath. I am so happy. So happy. You are coming hai. soon and I really Ara hope Ara we can hai. all... Uh, come together and, and, and try to understand what Gurudev is trying to say with this one-pointedness, because actually I had a few points I wanted to share, like also what Suniti said about insatiability, which Gurudev also always stresses that when we think we are satiated, when we are saturated, when we think, oh, I've done enough for today, yeah. I, I've chanted my rounds, I did my diksha in the morning, okay, I, I meditated on my swarup, oh yeah, now I can again engage my senses in other things. In that moment, we, we think we are satiated, actually our bhakti, our bhajan goes down. Because in Manjari, practice, sadhana, Gurudev always says 24-7, every day is a Sunday, but no holiday. So this has to become the mantra of our lives, that we have to every moment not waste the time. You know, every moment we, we have to see in connection to our spiritual practice. If we're sitting in the office, if we are working, if we are shopping, whatever, we have to expand that. We, in order to really live and feel as a dasi, we have to expand it to all our pores, in the material so that we can feed it in to the spiritual. So another thing which in this connection, which uh, Gurudev was saying that, um, and Suniti Didi was also explaining, you know, the, uh, Gurudev, what did you say? Now I lost it for a second. What did you say? Yes. Ah, yeah, one ah, pointed. Okay. Yes, the one pointedness. So I was thinking actually, the last weeks I had some experiences with my body and with my senses that I thought that actually material existence is really troublesome, man. At every corner there is a problem. Now there's a problem in family life, there's a problem in work life. There is a problem with the body. Then actually, I said, Gurudev, then spiritual life seems to be much easier if we become one-pointed. And then Guru said, yes, actually spiritual life can become very easy if we have that one-pointedness towards Radharani. If we really use that, our given Swarup by Gurudev, if we use it, and focus on that, then actually things become very easy because going into Lila Smar and going into Seva Bhav is actually already th the, the formula is provided by Gurudev. If we use it, it actually works. We can see it in our life how it works, but I see that material life, there's always will be problems, right? So that 
that I was just thinking before, I was always thinking a spiritual life is difficult and material life is easy to manage. But now I see that actually material life is becoming more and more difficult and spiritual life is easy to manage because Guru Dev is showing us the way if we are one pointed. One pointed means not that we are like sitting 24 7 with the japa and closed eyes. No, one pointed means that we see Radharani everywhere, we see Radha Mohan everywhere, we see Guru Manjari everywhere, and we see Nitya in all, in all what is happening to us, good, bad, ugly, we see Nityananda's mercy. And that helps us, I feel, to more and more fine tune and concentrate this one pointedness that we always know where we belong as Sumitri so said, when we wake up in the morning, like we're still like sleepy and drowsy and we are like, oh, what should I do now? Or should I get up or should I stay in bed? You know, and then immediately look at yourself. No, I'm Dasya Radharani. Like I don't have time for these thoughts. You know, I should straight meditate on that. What I've been, uh, I have received from my Guru, the, my name, my form, my dress. I should immediately start with that, you know. This is the priority, and this I really love Suniti Didi when you just said this. This is like something really, a very, you know, it's it's very practical. It's actually very. It's a simple thought process to to start with, you know. But it's so effective. We have to believe in this, you know. We believe in so many other things you know, throughout the day, but why not believe in this? What we have received, why not use it? You know, we have to use. Guru says the key is there. Why not use it? You know, we. Always wait, we waste time. I, I am wasting time. Sorry, I'm always saying we, but actually I'm speaking from my own. I always, I waste a lot of time. So I think this is, um, yeah, what I wanted to say on, on these points. Thank you. Thank you, Guru. Yeah. Yes, thank you. To be always hungry, to always be hungry, to be, be close to them who are hungry. That is, a, that is the real spiritual life. Sometimes I forget and sometimes I become lazy. That is uh, my nature, uh, this body. I uh, I am lazy. I like to uh, you know forget who I am, and I am used to live in my sada kadeha. But that's why I have to go to Vrindavan and get the mood and the feelings of those all of the mercy of Radha Mohan and Gurudev and all the devotees. See some more greedy devotees in. <laughs> Nice to see you all. Damoda and I have This greediness is so important. We need to become hungry, like an never stopping hunger for the emotional setup of a dusty. And then when we feel this hunger, we always want to eat the nectarian words of Shemati Radhika and Mohan. And we, we start talking with them. We start talking to them. Please reveal yourself to me, Prachodayat. Let me feel you everywhere. And let me be astonished how you show me the way through all the beautiful Dasis around me, through my uh, sisters on the way, to my Guru Manjari, let me feel how she is guiding me, how she is calling me, how she is giving me feelings. And to be able to feel, and if I'm not so much into the feelings, then I just go closer to those who are in these feelings. And so we are helping each other. See, when I only see Damoda, then I start feeling because he's living in his feelings. And that is the mercy of helping each other because he has to be living in the feelings. He is into the theater, not only with the Sadaka Deha, but with his heart. So 
immediately we can remember all feelings come from Shrimati Radhika. All feelings come to us if we desire to serve. And here even Ananda Das Babaji, um, he is saying that what you are explaining so nicely, Gopinath, that when we are satisfied with kind of at any kind of stage of our bhakti, if there is not a feeling of lacking of prem, so or direct devotional service, if we are not eager to have the direct darshan or the direct service or more deeper feelings, it can be that we are in a blockage of self-satisfaction. And like you said, this is like, like a daily, a daily uh, practice. It's not that, oh, now I am practicing for so long and everything comes. Yeah, I did already so much. I was chanting so much. I tried to do service. No, it's a daily uh, remembrance to not be complacent, to not be lazy. Or maybe today I can, can feel Shimati Radhika's uh, service. Today, it's around the corner. I'm a Dasi. In any moment, if she wants, if I get some glimpse, I can get her Kripa Kataksha today. Today, I will get the sidelong glance of Gurudi. Today, if I can somehow melt the heart of my brothers and sisters, they will bless me. And with these blessings, the little piece that is missing in my puzzle of being a Darcy, something will be revealed today. Otherwise, our advancement is blocked. So we have to have this uh, feeling of ever-growing hunger and we have to become really fat. <laughs> I was thinking in our material bodies, we want to be uh, always uh, healthy and not so fat, but in our desire to be a Dasi, we should have big bellies. <laughs> And we should feed and feed and feed. And the greed should never, never stop. My greed wants to increase. And if I get lazy, then I will slap myself. <sighs> like sometimes in the morning when I wake up and I try to do my mantras, I remember they are so... The mantras that have been given to us by Gurudev are so precious. And they are the jewels of all the Brajabasi's moods and feelings. And uh, Baba is also explaining this, this Dipya Gyan, that by getting these mantras, that initiation, where all the bad elements are destroyed and divine knowledge is bestowed, that is Diksha. And uh, he is explaining that this is an empowered mantra and it's not different from the forms that they are addressing. Just to meditate on this. Wow. This is Srimati Radhika herself. She is blessing me. This is Rupa Manjari. This is Ananda Manjari. This is uh, Kama Gayatri, is when they are together, all these things. What have I heard about this from Gurudev? What do I remember? What are my deepest desires to go closer to them, to be in this, Baba says, this Yugala Upasana? We want to come close. We want to sit nearby and we want to be ready for service. And this is not only in the far future. No, this is every day. Every day I try to remember in my daily life, my daily activities, how I am the Dasi. And if any moment can come, that Shimati Radhika will help me to remember and that I can really go into some deeper levels in my bhakti. And this Deepya Gyan will give 
Is that such a nice uh, explanation? Devya Gyan means the knowledge of the empowered mantra and that it is the very form of the Lord and that through it the aspirant will achieve knowledge of their relationship with the Lord who is the presiding deity over the mantra. So Krishna himself is not different from all these mantras, especially also Kamam Gayatri and Gopal Mantra, and with his blessings, as Naratanga Stapo in one of the songs he is saying, when we please Krishna, we will get Radhika service. And through Radhika service, we will please Krishna. There is no differentiation. There is always this flowing into mercy. So from whatever perspective we are approaching our view, if we see everything as Radhika's mercy, that's right. And if we see everything as Mohan's mercy, that's also right. In this love of Radha Mohan, the duality is dissolved. There's only one desire. How can I serve? How can I enter into my heart's feeling of a service of servant of Shrimati Radhika, of small Dasi? And Gurudev has these desires for me. Isn't that a beautiful time? Even if I don't have so many desires because I am somehow, you know, conditioned so. But my brothers and sisters and Gurudev, they wanting it so much also. They are helping me. What do you say about this Ramananda Roy Das? <laughs> so nice thank you, Suniti. Uh, thank you. I saw a nice explanation from you, Suniti. And uh, it's really touching my heart. And uh, sometimes for me, is it just to, to be in the in the vibration of, of all this mood. And also, if I try to do my sadhana or so, or also even in, in good times, also in hard times, I think it's important, it's on both sides, just to, to have the chance to get in a wonderful remembering of um, Munga Mandir, Radha Mohan, of course, Gurudev, all, all of you. It, it is very helpful to give you the feeling, the strong feeling that you're on one side, you are alone on all the time, also on your spiritual part, but you never be alone. So, so that's the, the big thing, I think. And, and it's very nice to, to have this in, in, in life, in, in, in this life. And uh, yeah, as more as we try to be one pointed, as more, uh, all things that uh, disturb us uh, goes away. They are not tasteful anymore or, or um, they are not necessary or they are not, yeah, they are not disturbing us. It's, it's also what Gopinath said before. Uh, it's very inspiring, Gopinath, that, uh, yeah, as more as we one-pointed, all <laughs> things are going. So this is definitely the secret of spiritual life is that you find your way and you stay on your way and not running around for, for doing everything, what, what comes up sometimes uh, in, in spirituality. Also, we get these tricky situations that here you see something, there you see something. This is also interesting, but I think the, the recipe of everyone who was successful in his spiritual life is, is, is that uh, that person was 100% or 200% one-pointed. It's it's you feel the time in your life when when it's able that you get a real decision. You you make your decision for your guru dev. You make the decision that you want to develop the greed first for 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 getting your dikshas, and then if you get your dikshas, you you get it. So it makes no sense to to run away from other things. Yeah. So this is my simple. Uh, idea of, of how we can be running.
Thank you. So nice. Thank you, Ramana. I remember also that uh, sometimes when the dikshas become dry, we can get a refresh. What? What's this called? Gopi nut. Um, it's Booster. a reset. It's a booster. A great a booster. Yeah. <laughs> My, my, wow, now I feel really boosted. Wow, so we also get a boost. We need a lot of boosters now, I'm so sure. <laughs> that is always good to be refreshed, to be um, feeling uh, again ignited. Because the uh, Gurudev is so merciful and the, the mantras themselves are so merciful because they are not different from Srimati Radhika and Mohan and Nityananda and Ananda Mantra. So we have, uh, we have always the backup. We, have always, we need to always have a backup and then when the batteries go low, we can get a booster. That is so nice. So and it's so hard. Update, upgrade me. I want to go on a higher level again. I, I don't want to be a sleeping Darcy. I want to be a life Darcy. I want to be a jumping and dancing and yeah, do everything what is necessary. What is the next secret that can be open to me and um, that I really feel that I am closer to Shmati Yatra. So, nice, very nice also statement here by Ananda Das Babaji. He says that in the Patala Kanda of the Padma Purana, we find descriptions of how the practitioners who have taken shelter of Madhura Ras and who know the principles of Krishna Das meditate on their Siddhadeya, which is suitable for mentally rendered devotional service. So he is uh, collecting different, different scriptures where this is all confirmed. Yes, we have to do it in the mind, but in the heart mind, not in the Really, it has to be coming from the deep, deep desires from the heart. And he is saying, in other words, unless the sadaka is a god, he cannot worship Godhead. Or we would say, unless we become a dasi, we cannot worship Shimati Radhika, Swamini. Then he continues how to go and work with the Siddha Pranali that is received from the lotus feet of Shiguru. No one should consider this imagination. It is eternal and real. Of all the innumerable above-mentioned forms situated in the abode of the Lord, there's one form in which the Lord will accept the sadhaka. Or we will say, Srimati Radhika and Guru Mantra will accept us in this form. And they will be eternally our dasis, our queens, our, I mean, they will be not our dasis, sorry, our, our queens of the service. We serve, we serve Srimati Radhika, we serve Guru Manjari. We also serve the Sakis according to what is needed in the different, different times during the day. Just as the fruit is bitter at an, in an unripe stage and sweet and juicy in the ripe stage, similarly, when Sadhana Bhakti ripens, it becomes known as prey. And while the sadhaka performs this sadhana, 
what we were speaking, how to do it in a daily basis. Starting with our mantras in the morning and our meditations and our prayers. In the day, we established our self-esteem into this form. Means we are filling our hearts with these all these uh, feelings that we have been given by our body. We are this and that Darcy, we have this and that name, we have this and that dress, and we try to come closer to that. We want to grow into that form. Although in the stage of sadhana, the relish is slightly transient due to the presence of unwanted desires and so, but in the stage of prema bhakti, the relish is very deep. So we have to also trust that this will come to us. This will come to me. Now I feel some sometimes uh, dry or I feel lazy, I don't want to do uh, this or that to revive myself to who I am. But at the stage of the higher tastes, then this will be natural. It will be natural that I'm always hungry. And I, I can always see the mercy in every situation by the mercy of Nityananda of Ananda Mantra. And Srila Thakur Mahashai is hinting at some of the principles of Sadhana Bhakti by saying Apakke Sadhana Gati. And uh, here Baba is explaining the word Gati means to flow also. Just as the Mandakini constantly flows towards the ocean, this river, not a river, any river constantly flows towards the ocean and will not stop until and unless it reaches the ocean. Similarly, the Mandakini flow of Sadhana Bhakti constantly flows towards the ocean of Prema Bhakti. So it's also a natural thing, and I like it that uh, it's so important to remember how natural it is. We don't have to press ourselves into something artificial. We are flowing. First of all, we are flowing with our own desires to the desire of Guru Manjari, and we are connecting with her flow towards Shimati Radhika cells. And then we will feel, if I connect to the flow of my Guru Mandari's desires, wow, this is like a rush. This is also a booster. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, the small rivers, they take shelter of a bigger river. Because otherwise, when the times are dry, as they are now in many places of the world, a small river can dry out. But the small river can never dry out when it connects to the bigger stream. So if we connect to the bigger stream of our Guru Manjari's desires, of any of our brothers and sisters' desires, we will also feel like a booster. We will feel refreshed and we will feel the flow. And that is always important, to feel the flow and to move towards the flow of this self-esteem. This is the word here, that I am eternal servant of Srimati Radhika. I am her Dasi. I have not maybe realized it so to 108%, but that's my desire. I want to live in this. I want to flow in this. I want to live in the mercy of love and in the flow of love and service and that's my life's goal and like Baba says it is only a matter of ripening from green to yellow or red or growing into the bigger river 
coming into the ocean of this and then when once the ocean is reached it will be prema bhakti so this was my my service for today for my own purification i hope you give me your blessings and you feel satisfied a nice subject beautiful thank you suniti this has to practice this is our thermometer we can check where we are we will grow it we will progress one point at a time in real If you see my Padigita chapter, this Krishna is telling that this way to reach from me to chapter. Yes. The ultimate goal, Gurudev. We have to reach it. We want to reach it. We must be eager to reach it. By hope or by crook, back, borrow or steal. Right. Thank you, Suniti. Thank you. Thank you. Gurudev, I liked what Suniti did. He just said to connect with the bhavs of of our Gurudev. and she beautifully illustrated it with the river small river as soon as it meets the big river there is a power of the big river which sucks the small river with right yeah. and i remember that you often sh- shared with us the moment you got diksha from your gurudev it was that experience that he took you in his your spiritual body and brought it into front of radha mohan Yeah. So in that moment, you entered his big river. Yeah. But he is the way. Yeah. To the ocean. Who is the way, not the goal? I always say, goal is Radha Mohan. He bring me to Radha Mohan, and offer in his service to me. Means Guru is not a goal. Mm-hmm. Well, what you do mistake in a our way, very easy to become Mayabad, Mayavadi. When I make that guru is my guru, mm-hmm. then we are in Maya. Yes. And this way we cannot achieve the goal. We don't know the goal that uh, my yesterday is my goal. We always think is the altar, is the deity, is it just like a toy? But he is the goal. This my heart is stone. He is not talking. He is not loving, no feeling, because of my no feeling and no love. He has to act to me to give the love and feeling. That is the point to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my dear. You inspired me. On and on, and you see the same subject is so beautiful to listen because inside the God is there to do this, but outer material thing is catching me very much. So how? I want to listen again and again, and I now feel bored with that. This is 
surprise because this is the reality. I have a desire inside. But missing some place. How to improve? We need that association, like you are creating so that the connection is to science is my I am thinking you are disciple of Narayan Maharaj and you the right way. After his teaching, you are showing you are Narayan. Yeah. You really learn from Narayan Maharaj. Narayan Maharaj. It's all your mercy, Gurudev. You continue his legacy. Thank you, Guru, for guiding us, for inspiring us, for blessing us all the time, again and again. You are our big river of love to Shimati Radhika. Bless that I can feel this. And live in the flow of lotus with a flower and rice now. Thank you for your sharing.